All right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about events in Hawkeye Star Rail. So we recently just got the first event for the final closed beta. Now this isn't like the very first event ever. We had an event uh, last closed beta, but um, this is the first one for this beta. I know there's some questions like why I talk about the events if it's only for the closed beta and uh, people can't play it, but I still think it's important to note what the events are, how they work, because like the other games, uh, HSR is going to have an update cycle, right? And the story probably isn't going to last throughout the whole update cycle for most people. The majority of the content for the patches is going to be made up of events and end game loops, such as Simulated Universe, uh, Memory of Chaos, which is the higher levels of the Forgotten Hall, aka the Spiral Abyss. So anyways, events are going to be important, I feel like. So hopefully we get a good variety of them. Hopefully they keep things fresh. Hopefully there's a decent amount of combat events as well. Events. I feel like are important. That's my main point. Okay. Okay. So the event that they added is called the stellar flare event. Um, it's a combat event. There's uh, six of these and each one of these has a different modifier for the level. Like for the very first one, when you break an enemy's weakness, you regen their energy to full for the character. And there's different difficulties for each uh, thing. Also, you're trying to do this uh, really quick, like four cycles for this difficulty, four cycles, two cycles. That's pretty much it. But Six of these, kind of like a nice little mini event. Um, looking at rewards, we get 70 stellar jade per uh, level. So that's really cool. And that's about it. I just wanted to show it. Uh, right after this, I'll have a stream clip of me just doing the first level, which is, of course, the only level available uh, last night when the event came out yesterday. So as I said, I think events are going to be pretty big. Um, hopefully we have a variety. I would like to see... A lot of combat events but also some variety with some other fun things because i feel like events are going to be a large part of the game but that's all let me know what kind of events you guys like would like to see in the future for the game i'm curious and now i'm just going to show a clip of me playing through the first level from my stream so make sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash mexu if you're interested I'll stream most nights at 9 p.m eastern and yeah thank you so much for watching see you in the next one let's check out the event so we get the Stellar Flare events. Level 38, level 43, level 43. Achieve battle victory within two cycles. Let's try max difficulty. First try. We probably want something like Arlen. Yeah. I <clears throat> can highly recommend Persona 5 Royale, only running is a huge time sink. I'll have to add it to the backlog. There's so many games I want to play, but they're all like heavy time investments. I've never played The Witcher 3, and I really wanted to play The Witcher 3. But that's a huge time sink as well. If you like want to do everything. Alright, let's give this a try. Yeah, I have so many games on my list, I feel like. This is great. Better alt. Boom. <laughs> Did we do it? Let's go. <laughs> nice. 